All right, so it was probably 1998 uh, when, as a youth pastor, God began to, um, to just really burden my heart to look for a place to take our students, um, you know, parents, babies, uh, to a place w that, was, that was, I guess, really as aggressive about going after Jesus as what God had kind of birthed within my heart. And, and of course, I knew uh, Brody Holloway from our time together serving at another camp. And, uh, and so gave him a call, heard about Snowbird Wilderness Outfitters, and came out here in 1998. And of course, at that time, none of this was here that's here now. It was just this uh, snack shack down there. So all these buildings were kind of combined into one. And I remember the screen that folded up into the rafters and we, you know, we did everything, you know, all the games and crazy stuff on the rock you know, gravel bed deal, and then the screen came down and we did worship, and it was, of course, it was raining and blowing sideways in one time, and uh, the Outfitters tents were awesome. We loved the outdoor showers. Our kids just had an absolute blast here in the midst of this beautiful creation, and, and one of the things that we loved about bringing students here was we saw these, these godly men of God, and I remember one night specifically just looking at some of my boys and, uh, and, and really wanting them to make that transition into manhood from just, you know, thinking like a child, acting like a child to growing up and, and really having the example of these godly men that were here. And there was something just very specific that night that I can remember um, shoving the microphone in some of our boys' um, faces and, and saying, you tell us right now what it is that God is, is impacting your life with and how he's doing it. And it was a lot of the leaders that were here who were just on fire for Christ and had this zeal for Jesus in that, that chapel way back in the day uh, with the big kahuna and Brody were there and, and the staff that was there. It was just an unbelievable experience that uh, today, one of the pastors at our church plant uh, was here on that trip and, uh, and, and God radically uh, impacted his life. When, when I ask him today, what was it in your life that really catapulted you to really um, taking a hold of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and he'll go back to some snowbird memories. This place for me really shouts uh, Psalm 66, 16 that says, come and listen, all you who fear God, and let me tell you what he has done for me. And over my past uh, 19 years of bringing students here, I think that's been the thing that I continue to see over and over again from the counselors to kitchen people that we talk to as we're going by with the correct posture, getting our food, to, uh, to the messages, to the worship. It's, hey, God has radically changed our lives, and we invite you to come and listen to what Almighty God has done in us and redeemed our lives and can redeem you as well.